so it has a handle you have to open it from this blue side so it has one two three four five five parts five solar panels on the other side it has these legs so this is upside down it has velcro you have to open it from there so rotate it upside down try not to break it open a leg by the way pull down this so it will not stick there again and on the end where the handle is it's not in the center but on the side now somehow open the center one second third mm. the weight is pushing it down the components are inside this on the back side the charge controller so it is opened it's not straight so that's the output cable I don't have a battery right now. The first one is the solar panel, the plus and the minus. So that's the first element. That should be connected to this one which comes from the solar panel. So red to red and black to black. And that should go to the battery but there is no battery right now. Let's move everything to the side. Some grass is blocking the light. And there's nothing on the display. There's a velcro on the back. And here's a clamp meter. Let's set it to voltage. It measures AC voltage and DC voltage, the wave line and the straight line, which is mentioned there. So let's set it to DC. Now, theoretically, since power is coming out, I should measure some power here at this plus and minus. And it says 24.9 volts. So the solar panel gives. 24.8 volts DC and the sun is down so it's not the best time for this but it's a 12 volt solar panel giving 24 volts okay so the connection is good because we measured power there now let's set it to amps and let's make a short circuit on it that is the amps the lower value and it's DC that would be AC amps and that's DC amps and for this I should interrupt the power somehow so I will disconnect it from here and put the two leads of the multimeter directly there so you can short circuit a solar panel but don't short circuit a battery especially not a car battery so DC amps zero it out somehow one there and one there and it says zero I never use this multimeter for measuring using those cables I used only the clamp but let's see so I connected the crocodile connectors here put it on the lead of the multimeter and nothing okay now let's try it another way let's use the clamp part so I will connect these two so these are short circuited and now 
let's place it there zero zero three amps so it's set to 60 amps let's reset it so it's DC amperage 0, 0.0 something amps that's always moving okay but if I short circuit these two it will jump up to one point something amps I need two hands for that zero again what am I doing wrong 1.9 amps almost 2 amps at 24 volts these are not making contact everywhere now don't tell me there is no contact there 0 amps 1.9 amps only the lower one the lower one is connected to the wire the top one is not connected so I guess I connected two top ones so here the wire is on the top and there the wire is on the bottom so now if I connect it I get 1.9 amps but if I connect the two not connected <laughs> then zero zero great through the leads it's not measuring anything Although now it's touching both sides. So now I connected the charge controller directly to the car's battery. 12 point something volts are in the car battery. This is not connected. So the battery can power a load and the battery voltage is that one, 12.45. There is no 13 volts entering into the battery. <laughs> so if the solar panel is connected to the charge controller, it's not doing anything. The display is not on. The battery side is not connected. Solar panels are on the roof of the car. So now I connected the light bulb there like so and I can power it through the solar panel so the solar panel is giving us enough power to power the light bulb oh I can even feel the heat of that light bulb I think that's the 5 watt and the, and the other one is the 21 watt can I power both of them? yes It's taking away power from the other one. And we have a little bit more sunshine. It's full of clouds. Solar panels are powering a light bulb. No charge controller is connected. Of course the solar panel is giving 20 something volts. And I was powering a 12 volt light bulb. So don't use more sensitive electronics, don't power them if the voltage is too high, it will ruin them. So if this wattmeter is not accepting short circuiting, it simply turns off. It's accepting a smaller load, let's say a light bulb. 0 0.6, 0 0.6 amps and 14 watts. So 24 volts are coming from the solar panel, voltage is not even dropping, very little. The light bulb is consuming 14 something watts, 0 0.6 amps. Let's use the other filament because we have two connectors down there, it's pretty hot. And that is too much, it's resetting my machine. Watt meter. I mean, now it's showing. Ouch, it's burning. I can't see it with my eyes. It was too bright. So I can see that on the phone. Ouch. 
so it's resetting it but then it's working 38 watts 22 point something amps ouch too hot now let's see what will happen if i reverse it put the power to the load so now it was reversed now the power from the solar panel is entering into the load let's see what will happen if i put the light bulb to the source it works the light bulb works but there is no watt measurement Let's reverse it. It resets it. And there is no watt measurement. Ooh, that's hot. So at the stronger sunshine, it's giving 24.7 volts. It's still cloudy. And 2.3 amps. So the solar panels are not in a good position. The sun is somewhere up there and it's not perpendicular to them, but the solar panels are sideways, so it can give you more. Here's another measurement. I'm measuring the voltage directly of the solar panels through this and that one. And I'm also short circuiting the plus and the minus. And meanwhile measuring the amps on this wire, which is doing their short circuiting. So let's take a look. We have around 0 amps and 24 volts and when I'm short circuiting it 2.7, 2.8 amps and almost 0 volts once again voltage drops to 0 and amps is high when there's a short circuit by correcting the position of the solar panels I move them slightly that way and the clouds are still there, but I'm getting even more amps. 2.90 something voltage also drops to almost zero. High voltage, zero amperage. And when there is short circuit, three amps and zero, zero, five volts. So although that this charge controller has USB outputs, I cannot connect the solar panel here and get those 5 volts for charging a phone for example, because there is no battery connected. So without a battery you cannot use your solar panel and you cannot charge through those USBs. So this mentions 150 amps up here, but I gave 2 point something amps at 24 volts and it was already resetting itself so from 2 amps to 150 there's a large gap so these are not too powerful at all 150 amps but at which voltage 1 volt 0.1 volt so currently it gives 25 volts and there is no direct sunshine I mean, it's very cloudy. 25-ish volts. Now let's disconnect the red, put it to amps, 10 amps, and put it there up. Now it's going to measure amps. It gives 1.3 amps. Of course, this is a short circuit between the negative and the positive, so don't leave it too much there. Now I connected the clamp meter also, so the clamp meter is showing 1.30 something, that is showing 1.40 something amps. So the clamp meter is connected either to the positive or to the negative, and that is short circuited. If I don't short circuit it there, then it's not measuring anything. Grab that multimeter because there's short circuit between the minus and the plus, and now I can measure 1.3 amps even on the wire, one single wire. 1.40 is measured here, and with two, it's not measuring anything. So you have to use one single wire when you are using a clamp meter. Don't measure across two wires. So here we have two, zero amps. One wire, 1.3 amps. 
Here's a watt meter and the source is connected to the solar panel and it shows 24 volts here on the right side, 0 amps in the upper left side and 0 watt. But if I short circuit it, the right side to simulate the load, it just resets, so it turns off. Now I connected the power to the load side and if I short circuit the source it behaves in the same manner. The display turns off 